This is going to be a look at Brian Burns and his impact in the Panthers' home win over the Denver Broncos in Week 12. He's been on a roll. Ten sacks so far this year. Only one forced fumble, I think, and we're going to show you that one in this film. 17 quarterback hits coming off a Pro Bowl season at age 23. Brian Burns is putting it all together on pace, you know, to, for obviously you know, 15, 16 sacks, somewhere in that range in a 17-game season. Really took over in certain moments of this game against the Broncos. Broncos went three and out on the first two possessions, and then on the third possession, they got one first down. Then they were facing this second and nine from their own 44. And Burns and linebacker Shaq Thompson are able to run a little stunt off the left-hand side, freeing Burns up one-on-one -on -one against this guard, and you'll get the end zone angle here in a moment. And then he's able to defeat this guy to the outside, get the sack on Russell Wilson for a loss of 11, force a punt. End zone angle, here's Burns again. Empty formation by the Broncos. Panthers going to walk up Thompson, blitz him on the outside through the C-gap, so he's going to be dealing and occupying the right tackle. And Burns ends up getting soloed up or singled up with the guard. <clears throat> Just an athletic mismatch in terms of speed and athleticism. Ability to redirect. It doesn't mean that the guard won't have some, some reps that he wins, but ability to redirect on second or third movement He's just too athletic for a guard to deal with. Once he broke down the posture, the right guard's posture by pulling his right arm down, that was it. All right, fifth possession, you get this huge run by former Raven Latavius Murray up the middle. 52, 54 yard run up the middle on the short toss play where he actually runs out of bounds. Looks like he's run out of steam. So on the fifth possession, scores 7 3 at this point. Broncos got a little something going, down only 7-3, like I said, and eventually facing the second and 10 from the 23. Burns over here in this over front, this wide nine, even though there is, you know, there is no tight end. People mistakenly call it a wide nine. There is no tight end, so it can't be a nine. It's really a wide five. He is in a nine, essentially, if there was a tight end there. We would call it a ghost, meaning you're in a nine, but there's no tight end there, so you're just lining up off a ghost tight end. There's, I have something to say about this from a formational standpoint in terms of uh, the mentality of a playmaker, the mentality of someone who looks to make plays, and that's Brian Burns. You can see that this ball is, appears to be caught at first. It eventually is ruled a fumble because it was dropped. So you can see the ball is on the ground right now. But it was ruled to be a fumble correctly, and the Panthers took over possession. Let's talk about the formation for a moment and what it offers a guy like Brian Burns. Well, Russell Wilson's a right-handed quarterback, and he sees a formation, twin wing, which is a 12 personnel formation. Here's the wing, which is two tight ends next to each other, a gun, so the back is on the side of the tight ends. As soon as Russell Wilson looks to that side, well, even pre-snap, he knows, unless the running back crosses Russell Wilson's face, there ain't going to be no help for his right tackle. So it goes with a speed rush. And I think... During his rush right now, he's looking. Is Russell Wilson looking to this side? If he is, I'm going to go ahead and get upfield and try to bring this back in. There won't be any ability to redirect for Russell Wilson in my direction. All he'd be able to do is step up, able to get a hand on it as Russell Wilson. Looks like he's getting ready to throw the corner route. Looks like Russell Wilson is attempting to throw this route out here, more towards the sideline. Burns was able to get his hands on a football. Pop it up in the air. Beautiful play, man. Second sack of the game. Like I said, he's up to 10 now. I think, I don't know about you, it was a little, a little bit of a shocking score. I think, the, like I said, the Broncos went three and out their first two possessions. I think they went three and out once in the second half as well. Just a wipeout defensively. Brian Burns was a big part of it. Frankie LeVu had eight tackles. Don't get me wrong, other guys are involved. There's a third and three later on. Complete to Latavius Murray, but watch the impact. Watch how he deals with his left tackle. As a, as a Ravens fan who's gearing to play the Broncos, we kind of hope that you know we're able to generate something like this against their left tackle. Burns just lifted him up. Look at the posture that he's got this guy in now. Lifted him up, threw him off, crushed Russell Wilson. It was a third and three. Latavius Murray catches the football for a six-yard gain. Happy for Latavius Murray that he's healthy. 
and contributing, you know, kind of in awe at some of the things Brian Burns is able to do, especially against the pass game. But last week against the Ravens, he played quite well in the run game. Have to give him credit. Played better than a lot of us thought in terms of the run game. Ten sacks overall. On pace, 15, 16, maybe 17 sacks. Obviously career high. Playing at an incredibly high level. Let me know what you think of Brian Burns' play in the Week 12 win over the Broncos, whether you're a Panthers fan, Broncos fan, Ravens fan. Certainly looks like a guy that you've got a game plan for in some of these pass rush situations, especially if you don't have a, a starting tackle or maybe someone to chip him on these pass concepts to help the tackle out. Appreciate you guys checking the video out. Let me know what you think in the comment section.